Long live the king of categorizing numbers. And in this arena, the lookup function reigns supreme. Here's the thing. Categorizing numbers like, say, customer spend into a loyalty type is an essential data task. Yet for being so important, why does this feel so hard to do in Excel? And does it really need to be? Consider this. There's a bunch of ways to categorize customer spend into a loyalty type, like these four functions. Don't worry about the details here. That's not important. Instead, I want you to notice how each formula takes its shape. Visually, do you get a sense for their complexity? They're riddled with commas, parentheses, and extra characters. It's a recipe for a headache, but it's totally avoidable because look at how much simpler the lookup formula is. One, two, three parts. This simplicity, this is why I hail lookup as the king. It's easy to set up, it's easy to write. I'll show you both. And we'll practice on interesting data, Netflix TV show ratings. I'm Mario Strada, and welcome to Hot Sheets. Don't tell your boss. Ugh, there are way too many shows to choose from, but maybe there's a better way to build my watch list. Let's use data, and we only need two columns, titles for 150 shows on Netflix, and their IMDb ratings, with a little color added so it's easier to read. So here's the plan. Let's categorize each show as belonging to one of four categories based on its IMDb rating. Skip it, maybe later, worth a shot, and of course, binge-worthy. Now, to categorize ratings, we're gonna need a conversion table. First, we need a rating scale, like this one that I just totally made up. These numbers represent the ranges that correspond to our four categories. That way, we can look up a show's rating, like Breaking Bad's 9.5, on our scale, and based on the range it lands in, we'll assign it a category, like binge-worthy. Okay, but how do we set up a conversion table in Excel? Easy, there's just two key things you need to get right when building your scale. First, order the ranges in your scale so that the lowest values are at the top, down to the highest values at the very bottom. Then, keep the low end of each range and toss out the high ends, we won't need them. Let's look up Better Call Saul to see why this setup works. And we'll just keep asking ourselves one simple question. Is 8.8 .8 at least as much as the low end of the range? In this case, the threshold to cross is 0.0. .0. If yes, keep going down the scale. In fact, keep going until the answer is no. Like here, we went too far down the scale. Let's go back up to the last time the rating was at least as high as the low end of the range. So Better Call Saul lands in the worth a shot category. That's a setup for a conversion table in Excel. Just remember when setting up your scale, order the ranges and keep the low end of each range. Okay, are you ready for the big payoff? The formula is going to be so simple to write because we've already described it. Look up a TV show's rating on a scale and return the corresponding categories. And here's the formula. Look up, rating, scale, categories. I mean, come on, isn't that really intuitive and simple? In fact, I bet we can just jump into Excel and write a lookup formula in under 20 seconds. And then we can build our list of great shows to watch. Here we have our data set and off to the side, I have our conversion table already set up. So let's start our formula. We'll type equals lookup, open parentheses. First, select our TV rating, that's C3. Then comma, let's move on to our scale. So we'll fill in I5 to I8, comma, and last, the corresponding categories that we want to return. That's J5 to J8. Close parentheses, and let's give that a try. Boom, but wait, even though it looks like the formula works, if you drag this formula down, you'll notice something odd. We get errors. That's because the cells we wrote to reference our scale and categories are shifting down each time we paste our formula down. We need our cell references to stay fixed. They should always point to where we have our scale and categories data, regardless of where we use our formula. To avoid cell references shifting, we need to anchor or fix both the scale and category references by putting dollar signs in front of the column letters and the row numbers. The dollar signs are like little anchors. They make sure these cell references don't move in any way. Hey, so this is a fundamental skill when working in Excel, and I'm glossing over it here, but comment below and let me know if that's something you want me to make a video on. Okay, so now that we've anchored our scale and category references, we can drag the formula down and beautiful. We've assigned each show a category. That was easy. All right, I really wanna build this watch list. Here, let's hide our conversion table to make space for our watch list. I'm gonna use one of my favorite functions, the filter function, to build a list of all the shows categorized as binge-worthy. Looks to be four of them. 
I'll have to check out Kota Factory. That's a new one for me. Cool. So let's drag the formula to our other two categories. I'm not even going to bother with Skip It. And now I have a bank of great shows to check out if I ever get bored. All right, that's a wrap. If you like this video, know that we're a new channel. And every time you like, comment, and subscribe, we get to reach more people just like you. With that, I'm Mario Strada. This is Hot Sheets, and we'll see you next time.